the response of the first order linear time invariant system uh, to input as the Dirac's delta function is discussed in this part of the lecture. Let us consider the linear time invariant system given by uh, x dot is equal to ax plus bu subject to the initial condition that x at the initial time ti is equal to x naught. Now we'll plot this uh, input that is the Dirac's delta function on uh, plot. Uh, the x axis shows the time axis which is given by tau variable. We start from ti and we end at tf and the signal is from ti up to a particular point of time t1 it is 0 then there is a spike delta tau minus t1 and then again it becomes 0. So this is the Dirac delta function which is input to this linear time invariant system. Now the response to this the response of this system to such an input will be given by this expression which we have derived earlier xt x at the present time t is equal to e raised to a t minus t i to x at t i plus integral t i to t e raised to a t minus tau into b into u tau d tau. If we consider uh, the second part that is the, the part of the response which is on account of the input. The first part is due to the initial conditions which we are not going to consider but the second part, the second part is given like this x u that is the, the response on account of the input u is equal to integral from t i to t e raised to a t minus tau b delta tau minus t1 d tau. This is equal to e raised to a t minus t1 into b. This is because when you make tau equal to t1, just replace it. Uh, so this integral gets converted to this part. And if you plot this response, you will see that it's given in blue. You start from ti up to t1, there is no response. Suddenly the input spikes and all of a sudden your response starts from b and goes like this in an exponential manner. So here it is e raised to a into tau minus t1 into b. So this part is after the point of time t1 up to tf. 